All right, guys, continuing on with this ultrasonic level lab, we're now at 50 centimeters. So we're looking at a range of between 10 to 50 centimeters in our column of water here. So just to take a step back, we have a column of water here and we are trying to get a four to 20 milliamp signal to correspond to a 10 to 50 centimeter level in the tank. What's looking at that is the ultrasonic sensor that's mounted on the top of our column of water. That ultrasonic sensor is brought over to, or the cable is brought over to this interface box here. And so we have provided that sensor with 24 volts. So there's our 24 volts to power it up. And we have an RS-232 link over to the computer. So right now we're at the highest level in the tank at 50 centimeters. That should correspond to a 20 milliamp signal. Let's take a look at the computer and see what we have on the display. Excellent. Okay, so if you're looking to figure out how to calibrate that ultrasonic sensor and have it working with the Cinex view, I will link the previous video uh, on the screen right now. But for now, we want to see the 20 milliamps that is coming from our sensor. So we're going to come up here to the larger display, click on this guy. Ah, yes. So there's our 20 milliamps. Okay, let's drop it down by increments of 10 centimeters and we'll see the values that, that uh, of current that's coming out of the sensor. So if I drop this down another 10 centimeters down to 40 centimeters, I should be getting 16 milliamps out. Let's take a look. Excellent. So now I'm at 40 centimeters and 40 centimeters should be 75% of my range. So I should be seeing 16 milliamps on the screen. Let's take a look. Nice, 16.02 milliamps. Okay, let's drop it down another 10 centimeters from 40 centimeters down to 30 and we should see 50% of our range. Nice, so now we're at 30 centimeters. This is halfway or the midpoint of our 10 to 50 centimeter range. Let's take a look at the screen and see what current we have. Gorgeous, 12 milliamps, exactly what we were expecting. Okay, let's drop it down another 10. Once we go down another 10 centimeters, we should see eight milliamps here on our Cinex view. Okay, so we're now at 20 centimeters. 20 centimeters should correspond with 25% of our range. So we should be seeing eight milliamps on the screen. Ah yes, eight milliamps. Okay, let's drop it down 10 more centimeters. That'll bring us to 10 centimeters. That's our lowest value. And the lowest value on a four to 20 milliamp signal would be obviously be four milliamps. All right, so last measurement here, this is the lowest end of our range. We're at 10 centimeters in the tank. And we've set the 10 centimeters to give us our lowest current output of four milliamps. Nice, so this thing's deadly accurate. We're getting four milliamps now for our lowest end of the range. As long as we've taken the time to set our zero and our span properly for this ultrasonic level sensor, then it is deadly accurate. Okay, next video we're gonna walk through how to actually, instead of looking at the current value on the screen, how do we take a meter value using an ammeter and milliamp setting and see the same current values?